Hello guys welcome back to Sholiver Celebrity News and Updates where we bring you the right update and all of what you will like to know. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you will not miss in any of my uploads. With the first Grand Slam of the season nearly coming to an end, let's have a look at the history behind one of the most pined prizes in Melbourne Stop. Most tennis fans are commonplace with the name Daphne Ackhurst, since the dazzling flatware is granted to the winners of the women's singles occasion at the Australian Open. However, little is known about Australia's only female worldwide tennis star. Today, we're attending to take a more profound jump into the history behind the Daphne Ackhurst Commemoration Cup. Tennis was aware that was played at a profoundly competitive level by Australian ladies in the early 20th century. But Daphne Ackhurst's impact on the diversion in Australia was on a diverse level. Daphne Ackhurst was one of Australia's most conspicuous figures in the donning world in the period between 1900 to 1930. She dis not only played tennis, but dominated it at a time when only a couple of ladies seemed to step out their homes and take part in sports. Daphne Ackhurst had won five Australian singles titles and nine Australian pairs titles between 1924 and 1931. She was the first Australian lady to reach the top ten ranket in the world with number three. And as of now, she's positioned third on the Australian all-time singles winner list. She is Australia's most productive winner of the time. Daphne Ackhurst won her last Australian title in 1931 at the doubles occasion. Two years afterward, she endured an ectopic pregnancy and kicked the bucket at the age of 29. Since 1934, the trophy displayed to the winners of the women's singles at the AO is named the Daphne Ackhurst Dedication Trophy. Ackhurst was not only an awesome tennis player, but who is skilled piano player with a formal capability from the Sydney Conservatorium of Music. Ackhurst too instructed music and composed columns for Sydney's daily paper, The Sun. Even in spite of the fact that she is generally recalled through the trophy, it is clear that in her brief life expectancy, she seemed to do a part of astonishing things. Every year ABC Bullion, the accomplice and official trophy producer of the Australian Open, handcrafts the trophies of the competition from 100% Australian silver. Even the pine for reproductions which are taken home by the winners are also made by ABC Bullion. This year's trophies will include valuable metals sourced from Newmont's Cadia mine. The victor of the women's singles occasion gets a Daphne Ackhurst dedication cup. Silver plated was utilized too from the trophy which is 18 inches tall and 7.5 centimetres in breadth. The champ of the Australian Open gets to see their names engraved on the trophy nearby the previous champions. Thank you for watching to the end, if you have something to tell us about this video leave your comment on the comment section below. Your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share. See you next time.